Hello and welcome to October 1st. This is the word of the Lord that the Holy Spirit has given me for this month. So grab your Bible, get your pen, because we're about to jump in it. <laughs> Okay, tell me why I went through some warfare behind this word. Mm. See that? Nail missing, nail missing. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> that didn't happen because of the warfare, but I did go through some warfare. But who knows when Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, and you're covered by the blood of Jesus, and you're walking in his anointing, it comes with the call. So expect the warfare when when you doing ministry by the Holy Spirit, you gonna get some warfare. But this is the word for October. The first thing the Holy Spirit told me is to ask for the mantle of Issachar. Now, the tribe of Issachar in 1 Chronicles 12, verse 32, it says this. In the tribe of Issachar, men who had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do. It is extremely important. This is what the Holy Spirit was telling me. It is extremely important in this time frame that the people of God, that the body of Christ has the mantle of the tribe of Issachar. Because the Holy Spirit wants us to be in the loop. The Holy Spirit wants us to be in his loop. Like things shouldn't be happening in our household, in our family, in our community, and globally. And it catches us off guard. It catches us by surprise. Because when we're fasting and praying, when we're staying obedient to the word of God, when we're worshiping and praising, when, when this Christian walk is really your lifestyle, you become sensitive to the Holy Spirit and he's telling me to tell everyone to cry out and ask for that mantle of the tribe of Issachar because he wants to give you his divine download. He wants to give you his revelation and mysteries. He wants you to know what's about to come before it goes down, before the bombs drop. He wants you to be prepared. So you can know how to handle it. So you can know what to pray for and intercede for. Now that doesn't mean that your prayers can stop what's coming because a lot of the time that judgment does need to come to the nations. It does need to come to the community. It may need to come to the family. But when the Holy Spirit is allowing you to um, hear him as far as what he's saying, hey, this is what's coming. This is what I'm bringing. This is what's going on. He, then you need to ask him, what do I do? What do I pray? Is, is there a, a, a strategic worship you want me to do? Do I need to go into deep worship or do I need to go into severe praise? There's different strategies that he wants to give his people. And when you have the mantle of the tribe of Issachar, just like it says in First Chronicles 12, verse 32, in the tribe of Issachar, it was men who had understanding of the times. They knew what was going on. The Holy Spirit was revealing it to them. And they knew what Israel ought to do. They knew how to execute the plan according to what was going on. X, Y, and Z is happening. So we need to do this, this, and this. And that's all by the power of the Holy Spirit. So cry out and ask for that mantle. Now, the Holy Spirit is giving me his um, monthly words that he wants me to release to the people every month for what's prophetically happening and taking place in the month of this month, October, and then every month thereafter. And this is the thing, this is free. You know, this is not me um, just coming on here, making up some stuff, some scriptures that sound good. And you no, know, this is actually revelation downloaded from the Holy Spirit through fasting and prayer, through a lifestyle of obedience. Um, and Matthew 10 verse eight makes it very clear that freely we have received and freely we are to give. And something that the Holy Spirit wants me to point out that if you're a part of any ministry, any church organization, and they're charging you to be a part of it, and as far as like their teaching, Bible study, um, anything ministry related, that's not of God and you may want to shift or they need to change it like immediately because God is like he has no time for the nonsense 
like if Jesus and the disciples and the apostles, if they didn't go around charging to teach people, to preach, to heal the sick, to raise the dead, then nobody else should be doing that as well. Like the word of the Lord is free to everyone. Matthew 10 verse 8, freely you have received, freely give. So one of the words that the Holy Spirit told me that is available and that he's um, mantling for this month of October is Psalms 129 verse 4. And it is so powerful. It says, the Lord is righteous. He has cut me from the cords of the wicked. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is righteous. He has cut me from the cords of the wicked. Now, the first thing that stands out in this scripture is that the Lord is righteous. And in Hebrew, his name is Yahweh Sidkenei. I'm sorry, Yahweh Sidkana. And that means the Lord, our righteousness, Yahweh Sidkana. And what is the Lord, our righteousness means? It means that God is accurate, that there's no flaw in him. There's no, well, a maybe I think so. No, he is omniscient. He is all knowing. He is accurate. That means the Lord, our righteousness, he is fair. He is just. He is justice. He is the one that brings you vindication. He is the one, uh, he is what is right. He is what is right, because he is the great I am. Yahweh Sidkana, the Lord our righteousness, also means to acquit, that he will acquit you. Acquit means to free someone from a criminal charge by a verdict of not guilty. So in this month, cry out for Yehovah to Sidkana, and that he will acquit you from all the charges. Now, no, you do need to repent. This is not like some magic charm or word that I'm telling you to release, but you do have to do your part. You need to repent from whatever that was, turn away from it, surrender to Jesus, and cry out for Yehovah to Sidkana the Lord our righteousness, because he is acquitting you from every criminal charge and verdict of not guilty also the lord our righteousness means to give you justice it means to justify it means to lead you to righteousness that when you cry out for jehovah to sitkana he's gonna lead you to his righteousness if you've been confused about what's righteous what's not righteous cry out for jehovah to sitkana and he will lead you to his righteousness. He makes you appear as righteous because you are in Christ Jesus and you're crying out for Jehovah to Sikana, the Lord, our righteousness. He makes you righteous. He properly restores you. That's another definition. He properly restores you. He proves you right. He's the one that proves you right. You don't have to prove yourself right. You speak the truth, you say what thus says the Lord, and God will handle the rest. Jehovah to Sidkana, the Lord our righteousness, is the one who proves you right. You ain't got to fight about it. You don't have to argue about it. You don't have to feel condemned about it. Because when the Lord has really given it to you, when the Lord is really saying it through you, when Jesus is really doing it through you, he's going to prove you right. And you are proved righteous. That is another definition of the Lord, our righteousness, Jehovah to Sidkana. In Jesus name. Thank you, Lord. Also, this month, another definition of the Lord, our righteousness is what is right or just or normal. So if you've been the person that's had a lot of abnormal unfortunate things happen in your life like why does this only happen to me why am i the only one going through this level of x y and z like why do i have to have this abnormal uh this this and this god is saying when you cry out and you decree yehovah to sidkana the Lord, our righteousness in your life. He's going to take that abnormal things that you experience, the, the bad ab abnormal things that you encounter that happens in your life. And he's going to normalize it. That's one of the definitions. What is right or just or normal. 
having the mind of Christ is the normal way to think is the normal thing. So if you've been desiring in your emotions or in your mind, the abnormal, when you decree and call out for Jehovah to Sidkana, the Lord our righteous, he's going to give you that normality according to his standards, according to biblical standards, according to what's right and just and true in the word of God in Jesus name. Okay, so remember, we're coming from Psalms 129 verse four, which says, the Lord is righteous. He has cut me from the cords of the wicked. So when we're decreeing uh, Yehovah to Sikanu, Yehovah to Sikana, uh, the Lord our righteousness over the month of October, that also means that his righteousness in government. So we want to specifically decree the righteousness of God, the Lord our righteousness, Yehovah to Sikana in our government over the judges over the rulers over the law over the seat of government we want to plead the blood of jesus and decree jehovah to sickena over the seat of government in every state and over every politician over every senator for every state over the house of senate and we want to decree that that they will have no other choice but to abide by and make their declarings and rulings in by God's attribute. You want to decree that. So if you're watching this, it is your assignment to Psalms 129 verse 4, decreeing the Lord is righteous. He has cut us from the cords of the wicked. So this is something for your community and globally that God wants you to intercede and pray for your community, your state, for America, for globally, that Jehovah to Sikana, the Lord, our righteousness, that you're pleading the blood of Jesus over the seat of government and that they will have no other choice but to operate in and have the laws of God's attributes in Jesus name. The next scripture uh, pertaining to the Lord, our righteousness, Jehovah to is Jeremiah 23 verse six and Jeremiah 33 verse 16. It says the same thing. It says in his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will dwell securely. And this is his name by which he will be called the Lord, our righteousness. So in Psalms 129 verse four, the Holy Spirit is clearly saying to us that the Lord is righteous. He has cut us from the cords of the wicked. So God was telling me that there are things in our life, whether it's generational, whether it's because bad sinful choices that we made in life that because when we come into divine relationship with him when we come into covenant relationship with him and Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior he said there's some things that because of his righteousness because he's good he's just he's fair he's justice because he is at the seat of government that he's gonna cut us from the cords of the wicked but God also told me that according to Judges 15 that there are some things that he's going to endow us with his dunamis power so that we can break off those shackles and cords so we can break those things off ourselves. That him endowing us, the Holy Spirit endowing us with his dunamis power, that we will be able to break off those demonic shackles and cords and before i jump further into that let's talk about what what is doing miss power and he he gave it to me from the judges 15 uh specifically judges 15 verse 14 15 and 16 and before we jump into samson let's talk about uh first corinthians 4 verse 20 with dunamis power first corinthians 4 verse 20 says for the kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but of power. I know that's right. <laughs> For the kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but of power. And God is saying that this month, decree the dunamis power of Jesus Christ be upon your life, that he endows you with it. 
because through you, he wants to demonstrate his dunamis power. And, 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 and remember, remember that with out faith, it is impossible to please God. So you have to have the faith of God's word, not of my word, because I'm not promising you these things. The Holy Spirit, the scriptures is promising you these things, but you have to connect your faith with it. You have to activate your faith in Jesus Christ with it. So you can see the manifestation of the word of the Lord in your life. I like the New Living Translation of 1 Corinthians 4 and 20 as well. It says, for the kingdom of God is not just a lot of talk. It is living by God's power. For the kingdom of God is not just a lot of talk. It is living by God's power. And the Holy Spirit, that word power in Greek is dunamis. Dunamis. Dunamis means miraculous power, miraculous might, miraculous strength. It also means to have a physical power. And this is why God gave it to me from Samson, because God gave Samson a dunamis power. He had physical power to break off the chains of the enemy off of his life and also as a deliverer for the nation at that time. Dunamis power is also a force, might, ability, efficacy. Efficacy, and I hope I'm saying it right. Hold on, let me play it for y'all. Efficacy. Efficacy, there we go. <laughs> Efficacy is the ability to produce a desired or intended result. The ability to produce an intended result. There are some things that God has called you to produce. There are some things that God has called you to do for his glory. But you will also reap God's benefits in that. Psalms 103 verse 2. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of God's benefits. But there's an efficacy. There's a dunamis power and efficacy that the Holy Spirit is releasing for the month of October. And he wants you to tap into it. He wants you in the loop. Remember 1 Corinthians 12 verse 30, not Corinthians, 1 Chronicles 12 verse 32 the mantle of the tribe of Issachar. He wants you in the loop. He wants you going forth in Jesus name. So he's going to endow in you the efficacy, the ability to produce the intended result for your family, for your business, for your dream, for your destiny and purpose. Of course, it has to be lined up with the will of God. Now, if God's called you to do it, he's going to endow you with that dunamis power, the efficacy to giving you the ability to produce the, the desired or intended result. Yes, Lord. It also means powerful deeds, showing physical power, marvelous works and wealth. Now, when it so dunamis also means wealth. So and we know that's Deuteronomy 8 verse 18. But remember that but remember that it is the Lord, your God, who gives you the power to gain wealth in order to confirm his covenant that he swore to your fathers, even to this day. So there is a dunamis power for wealth. He's going to give you the efficacy, the ability to produce the desired intended result for your business, for your job for your career, for your calling, for your purpose. But remember now, don't let this fall in the same category as, oh, God's called you to be a pastor, a teacher, whatever, and you charging people for the gospel. You charging people for these conferences. Like, no, you don't charge people to come hear the word of the Lord, okay? All right. But the God, but God Jesus Christ, he has called you... Um, to a business or a career that would bring you the monetary blessings of the Lord. Deuteronomy 8 verse 18. But God's word is never for sale. There, there's, there's no price. It, it's, it's priceless. The word of the Lord. So dunamis for the believer. It is also the power to achieve by applying the Lord's inherent abilities. 
Dunamis power is the power to achieve by applying the Lord's inherent abilities. Power through God's ability is needed in every scene of life. This is the definition. Power in, in, in God's ability is needed in every scene of life to really grow in sanctification and also to prepare for heaven glorification. Thank you, Jesus. So now we're going to jump into this Judges 15 so we can see how the dunamis power of God was displayed through Samson. Okay, so Samson, the Holy Spirit, God Yahweh gave Samson the dunamis power that he needed to be a deliverer to the nation of Israel at that time. And this is another prophetic word for October, that the Holy Spirit, not only will he be Jehovah to Sikana, the Lord, our righteousness, and that he cuts us from the cords of the wicked, but there's also going to be some things in our life that he's going to endow us with the ability to cut those demonic cords of the wicked off of our bloodline, the nation, globally, community, our state, all of that. So some things he's going to do, cut it off and it's something he's going to doubt and doubt us give us the ability to do and cut off in jesus name so judge he gave me judges 15 verse 14 15 and 16 and it says this when samson arrived in lehi hope i'm saying that right when samson arrived in lehi the philistines came out shouting against him and the spirit of the lord came mightily upon him the ropes on his hands, excuse me, the ropes on his arms became like burnt flax and the bonds broke loose. Yes, Jesus. He found the fresh jawbone of a donkey, reached out his hand and took it and struck down a thousand men. Then Samson said, with the jawbone of a donkey, I have piled them into heaps. With the jawbone of a donkey, I have slain a thousand men. So right now the focus is on verse 14. That was Judges 15, verse 14, 15, 16. But God gave me the focus on verse 14, where it says, when Samson arrived in Lehi, the Philistines came out shouting against him and the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him. So although, um, you know, it's, it's never, it's never our doing whatever we conquer, whatever we accomplish, whatever divine results we get, it's because the spirit of the Lord is upon us to obtain those divine results. And so the Hebrew definition of came mightily upon him, because the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him, it means to break out, go over, be good, to push forward, to be profitable, prosperity, prosperous, prosperously. And I also love the NIV version of Judges 15 verse 14, where it says, as he approached Lehi, the Philistines came toward him shouting. The spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon him. The ropes on his arms became like charred flax and the bindings dropped from his hands. God said in Jesus name, in October that he's endowing you with his dunamis power. And as the spirit of the Lord comes powerfully upon you, comes mightily upon you, that the ropes on your arms and on your hands, the bindings, it will drop off of you because the Holy Spirit is endowing you with his dunamis power, that your hands will no longer be in chains and fetters. You'll no longer have limitations in your life that you need your hands to do. We need our hands to do everything naturally spiritually that god is breaking off those bindings from off of your arms and hands the hebrew meaning you are going to push forward where it says and the spirit of the lord came mightily upon him you are going to push forward in every area of life you are going to break out in jesus name in every area of life you are going to go over in every area of life in Jesus name. You are going to be good. 
Your conduct and behavior will be good. Your thoughts will be good. What you meditate on will be good. Your actions will be good. Because the spirit of the Lord comes mightily upon you. You will be profitable. You are of value. What you produce, the efficacy through the dunamis power of Jesus Christ upon you to produce the in, in desired and the intended results will be profitable. Whatever he's called you to produce, you are prosperity. You are prosperous. You are prosperously in Jesus name. This are, these are all the words for the month of October. Psalms 129 verse 4. First uh, Chronicles 12 verse 32. First Corinthians 4 verse 20. That the, that the word of the Lord is not just all talk. Excuse me, for the kingdom of God is not just a matter of talk, but of power. It is living by God's power. And in this month, God wants you to live by his power. He doesn't want you lagging behind. He doesn't want you last place. The Bible says the first will be last and the last will be first. He's endowing and releasing his dunamis power upon you so you can step into your first place as your as a firstborn son. You know, in the Bible, the firstborn was the one who received the inheritance. And because we are in covenant, yes, Jesus, with Christ Jesus, we receive the inheritance of a firstborn son. No matter the gender, when you're in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yes. These last few scriptures that the Holy Spirit gave me for the month of October, I'm going to say them quickly so I can try to close out. But it's Psalms 112, verse 10. The wicked man will see and be grieved. He will ganache his teeth and waste away. The desires of the wicked will perish. Now, you know, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So we're not sitting here decreeing scriptures to speak against any human being, but against the demonic forces that influence people to do evil. We are praying against demons. But we're not praying against humans because that's witchcraft prayers. OK, and I really love the New Living Translation of Psalms 112 verse 10. It says the wicked will see this and be infuriated. They will grind their teeth in anger. They will slink away. Their hopes will be throttled. So we are decreeing that according to Psalms 112 verse 10, that the desires of the wicked will perish. The desires of the wicked will be perished. That every evil scheme that the enemy desires for your life will be throttled. It will perish in Jesus name. Psalms 124 verse 6, 7 and 8. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowler. The net is torn and we have slipped away. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Yes, right now in Jesus name. Psalms 119 verse 137. Righteous are you, O Lord, and upright are your judgments. Yes, God. You have to decree Yehovah to Sikana. Righteous are you, O Lord. Upright are your judgments. Judgments concerning your life. Judgments concerning the affairs of the world. Judgments concerning every system. May they come under the subjection of Jesus Christ and it be to your benefit and your favor. This is the word of the Lord for October. Decree it because the Lord is upright and his judgments are just. Psalms 103 verse 6, the Lord executes righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. If you've been oppressed in any area of your life, if you know somebody that's being oppressed, don't just be selfish and pray for you. Intercede, stand in the gap, be a repairer of the breach, Isaiah 58, and execute, decree these prayers. Psalms 103 verse 6, the Lord executes righteousness. See, maybe you don't know what it's like to be in a place that you are so low, you feel so depressed, you feel so overwhelmed with anxiety that you can't even lift up your voice to pray and intercede. So pray for those who can't even lift up their voice and pray for themselves and decree Psalms 103 verse 6. 
The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all the oppressed in Jesus' name. Psalms 146 verse 7. He executes justice for the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free in Jesus' name. Every prisoner, every prisoner is set free in Jesus' name. And he feeds them spiritually and naturally in Jesus' name. Ephesians 3 verse 16 and Colossians 1 verse 11. We're going to close out with those. But I just want to say that these are the words for the scriptures for October. Decree these words over your life, your family, your community, your children, your state, the government, America, the nations. We need it. Okay, so we are closing now with Ephesians 3, verse 16, and Colossians 1, verse 11. Ephesians 3, 16 says, I ask that out of the riches of his glory, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. I'm going to say that again. It's so powerful. I ask that out of the riches of his glory, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. Yes, Jesus, I pray that for you. Pray that in, in the month of October. Colossians 1 verse 11, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might so that you may have full endurance and patience and joyfully giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. I'm going to say that one more time. Being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might so that you may have full endurance and patience and joyfully giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. We are going to need this. We're going to need the dunamis power of God in this month of October. We're going to need to have uh, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might. We're going to need to have the full endurance of God just like he gave to Samson. That was a supernatural endurance that God gave Samson through his dunamis power. We're going to need to have the full endurance and patience that as we are decreeing the word of the Lord in the month of October, that you will have the patience of God not to let your emotions get in a frenzy, not to make you feel like, Lord, it's not happening for me. Now, as long as what you're praying into is the will of God. So you do want to know that 1000% through fasting, um, interceding, reading the word of the God, reading the word of the Lord, he will reveal to you if what you're even desiring and praying for is something that he wants for your life. So, so that's really important. But as long as you're in divine alignment with the will of God for your life, that he will endow you, yes, Father God, with the dunamis power even of patience. That as you're praying and as you're waiting, you have the patience not to allow anxiety and overwhelmness to overtake you because your trust is in Jesus and that you will have joy. You will joyfully give thanks to the Father. All of these are so important because the enemy likes to try to blindside people and make people think, well, it's not going to happen. I've been praying, praying, praying. But now you're asking the Lord to mantle you with 1 Chronicles 12, verse 32, the mantle of the tribe of Issachar. So you will know the movements of the Holy Spirit, what he wants to show you, what, and, and, and then what is the, the strategic plan that God wants to give you to execute what needs to be done. You will not be left out the loop. So just to wrap everything up, in the month of October, God is releasing the mantle of the tribe of Issachar so that you can understand the times and know what you ought to do, know what the nations need to do, know what your church needs to do, know what your family needs to do according to God's requirements for you. The Holy Spirit is also telling us that in Matthew 10 verse 8, especially when it comes to the word of God, that's something that's not negotiable. 
We are not to peddle the word of the Lord for profit. Because freely it has been given. Excuse me. Freely we have received and freely we are to give. Especially when it comes to the kingdom. Especially when it comes to the word of the Lord. This is not like you going to get your hair done and you like, well, freely I have received and freely I'm supposed to give. Like, no, that's a service that you're paying for. You know what I'm saying? Let's not get ludicrous with this. Let's not be irate with this, okay? But when it comes to the gospel, when it comes to the scriptures, when it comes to praise and worship, like anything like that, no, 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 no. Matthew 10 verse 8, freely you have received, freely we are to give. So God said for the month of October, Psalms 129 verse 4, the Lord is righteous. He has cut me from the cords of the wicked. We are to decree in Jehovah to Sidkana, the Lord our righteousness. We are to decree Jeremiah 23, verse 6. Jeremiah 33, verse 16 says the same thing. In his days, Judah will be saved. Israel will dwell securely, that you will dwell securely. Your life, your health, your destiny, your purpose, your children, your marriage, your loved ones, everything you put your hand to, you will dwell securely. And this is the name by which he will be called the Lord, our righteousness. God said to decree him for the month of October, 1 Corinthians 4, verse 20, that the kingdom of God is not just a matter of talk, but of power. Or the New Living Translation, for the kingdom of God is not just a lot of talk. It is living by God's power. That is so mm, gangster. Like, it's like... I feel that. You know what I'm saying? Like the first Corinthians four verse 20. Okay. For the month of October, we're calling in the dunamis power of God. And by the way, if you would like, um, cause there's like, there's so many scriptures that talks about that goes with this dunamis power. I just touched on a few that the Holy spirit told me to touch on. But if you would like, if you're seeing this on my social media, um, type in the chat, dunamis power and i will forward it to you i'll message it to you the link where it has all the scriptures and it gives all the definitions about the dunamis power of god if you're seeing this on youtube then go to my social media um preferably instagram but you can do tiktok as well and i will send that to you um because it is it is so so powerful so many scriptures that go with that also, too, for the month of October, we're decreeing in Judges 15. That's what the Lord is releasing. That, like, like I said before, in a lot of areas, because he is righteous, because he is just, because he is fair, because he is God, because he loves us, there's many cords of the wicked in our life that he's just going to cut off himself. But the ones he doesn't, and that means he's going to endow you with the ability and power and the efficacy to cut off those demonic cords, to destroy those bloodline curses, to destroy those things in your life that has been holding you bound and captive, that you will be a prisoner set free. According to Psalms 146 uh, verse 7 in Jesus name. So we're decreeing that just like God endowed Samson with that dunamis power that he's going to do the same thing for you. That's what he's releasing in the month of October. We're also praying and, um, and also too with Samson, you know, it says in verse 15 and 16 that he found a fresh jawbone of a donkey and then he struck down a thousand men of the Philistine. So God is going to give you simple ways to get the victory. Like a jawbone taking out a thousand men, that's nobody but the Holy Spirit because all the glory is still going to go back to him. So he's going to endow you and give you the means to conquer and have dominion and take your rulership and to uh, be and to progress that you'll have no more dead ends, but to progress in the things of God. But the means that he may give you to do these things and succeed it may not look like it's something very big. Like it, he didn't he didn't give Samson uh, a Uzi or whatever you call them guns. You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't give him like a machine gun. He just, you know, taking people out. He allowed Samson to get a jawbone of a donkey. OK, so it was a bone of a donkey's jaw and he killed a thousand Philistines with it. So God is going to give you something that may look simple to take out a lot in Jesus name. 
So these are all the scriptures that the Holy Spirit shared with me for the month of October. And remember, you have to be diligent in seeing this come to pass in your life. Pray and decree these scriptures in. Fast with these scriptures. Every single day, pray them in, decree them in, have faith, don't doubt in your heart. And you can say to these mountains, be removed, and they got to go in Jesus' name. But you guys be blessed. Um, you guys have a blessed October, and I'll see you again.